<laughs> Just like the Battle of Salamis, Captain. I have you trapped. <laughs> Here comes Themistocles. And that is the game. Oh! Ramodo! Foxy, that's why are we delivering all this treasure? We could retire to Lesbos with this amount of gold. <laughs> what say you, desert rat? If that chest doesn't make it to Pompeii, this ship won't either. We crawl through Hades to deliver it if we have to. Enough. Back to work, you slack vlakos! Themestis, my trusted shield boy, get to it! Huh? We've been hired to bribe Pompeii, to save a queen, and to win a kingdom. <laughs> the usual fare for us mercenaries, huh? Ahead. I'm not blind. I see the scaries. Your third voyage? Already you bark like a command crew. <laughs> I enjoy watching Spittle get caught in your bed, Foxy Das. Let's not be thrown into the sea and go dead for such a hero as me. A real hero could swim to save himself. I see them. I'll not be sucked by Scapa for nothing. Now you're just trying to impress me. The horizon there. Those colors are not from Rome. What mess has this boxy queen dragged us into? Ptolemy's ships, sent by the order of ancients, no doubt. What business do they have with Pompeii? Pompeii's armies will give Cleopatra the throne. They mean to prevent the alliance before it happens. We must hurry. The air is already choked with smoke. The seas will steam near the volcano. We should keep our distance. We don't want to burn. Is that Methana? She hasn't burst for hundreds of years. Wouldn't surprise me if she burst. Ready ourselves! Let's show these traitors they trust the wrong pharaoh! Keep 
for kings or queens. I left my wife and kids behind for the same reason. No one sane accepts me. I accept you. We accept you. Alala! These hundred and outside enough acceptance for me. It's hard to say goodbye to those who don't accept us. But it is also the only way. Is it? Pompey will be at the appointed place, off Dara's coast. Sail on! Need more speed! Speed up! Up the pace, brothers! Please! Up the tempo! Up tempo! Up the one who can afford his own protection. You know, you really should join this track. Fire bombs ready! Call for them when we pull near! Them, or take them down we 
¡Maldita! Civil war in Egypt and a mercenary trireme comes to my aid. In the midst of war with Caesar, I find it odd. Who in Hades are you? Well, we could have let you die. Pompeius Magnus. Greetings and friendship from Queen Cleopatra. Cleopatra offers gold to win my favor once I've won Rome. <laughs> Is that what friendship means to your queen? Whose face graces that coin? Do Roman women receive the same honor? An alliance with Cleopatra is a union of true power. She wants more than an ally. She seeks a king. Hmm. A valuable friendship indeed. Agreed. My fleet will soon be ready for Egypt. Welcome to Marad's wares, traveler. Well, what do you think? Junk. Be off then. Ah, uh, I haven't finished. Are you blind? I've nothing left to show you. But you've much to tell me about the hyena. Ah, funny. As it turns out, that happens to be the most expensive thing I'm offering. <laughs> funny indeed. Delivery upon payment. Do you have enough to barter with me? Yeah. Your absurd fee. Now what can you tell me? The hyena? ...is not her real name. <laughs> easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name... ...is Khaliset. A favor. Some customers of mine took my horse after a dispute. Their camp lies in a quarry just south of here. Take my man... ...retrieve my horse... ...and I'll give you what you came for. Ah. How you found yourself in Apollodorus' company escapes me. You'll get it for me. If Apollodorus wants my continued service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You are friends with Mered? Ah, barely. He's a necessary ally.
This must be Mered's horse. He neglected to tell me his customers were bandits. What the hell? than I expected. You're back! Well, look at this! You failed to mention it was in the possession of bandits. Slipped my mind. Hmm. Good. Stronger than mine. I thought you said it was yours. <laughs> yes, yes, of course it is. You've done good by me, my friend. Then you'll deliver as promised. My word is my word. But I've one more thing to ask of you. Ah, done with your games. All right. The hyena lives in a cavern just over those hills. Day and night, she roams the desert collecting silica, precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. If I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Don't die out there! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Do not! Do not let her take me! So this is the hyena's lair. No sign of Khaliset, though. Mered was telling the truth. I need to figure out where she went. Kufu's tomb. She has detailed every crevice. Ah, she has not finished. That is where I will find her. I will head to the pyramids.
What fool would set up camp out here? I should have a look. Hyenas. Khaliset must be inside. <clears throat> you! Who dares to enter here where silence has befallen her? A Magi who has treaded many dunes to find you. Hide if you must, Hyena, but this tomb will not protect you. I demand that you stop here. Turn back now and I will excuse this intrusion. Siwa was an intrusion.
man, I am Iset, possessor of magic. The gods live here, not you. What sort of mischief is she entertaining? Trap door. What is it protecting? Heathen! The wakeful one is asleep! Go no further, or I will drench these arid plains with your blood! What is this place? A tomb beneath a tomb. Is this where you hide, hyena? happened here? A dark place with a window to the gods. What kind of ritual is she performing? Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. Alisa drew these symbols here. Was she trying to figure out their meaning? Offerings to Osiris, protector of the dead. Sarcophagus is decorated with goddesses of the mother. Strange symbols are marked all over it. I think I know what dark deeds Haliset was after here. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. Once she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? Retransmission, segment three, acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 95 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. You must be wondering why I have reached out to you. It was written, you see, that you would come to this particular chamber at this very moment in time. The walls told us of your coming when we once were. Look at them. Are they not fascinating? These walls tell of a tragic story. A story we transcribed on our structures, on our artifacts. A story we could not alter. A mystery defying this in plain sight. We tried. Our scholars and scientists 
poets and physicists, bright minds, rebellious hearts. They all tried so hard to bring about change. They, we all failed. None could change what we discovered, the stories written into the walls of these rooms. By whom, we never knew. We know they tell of the future that is, the future that was, and the future that is yet to come. The Sparrows? We failed at modifying the line. We failed at adding a single dot. It was clear. We were to be messengers at best. But messengers to whom? To you. We removed our ability to read those stories from your original template. A doorway that is also a puzzle. We must find the solution. Those were Brutus' words when he visited the vault under the Colosseum more than 2,000 years ago. He drew the vault, sketched it to the best of his abilities, but he could not see. Just as you are blind, you may read your watch, you may read hourglasses and calendars, but you cannot grasp beyond that simplistic surface. For now, the true reading of time still escapes you. And so today, the curtains pulled and the eros is shown, tragic and complete. Those walls you might never read. Events yet unfold as written. But something, anything must change. You do not understand what is at stake. The reader has no power. He is but an observer. But the author? The author invents the future. The author owns the future. A future where zeros are avoided. A future where a loved one can be revived by the drafting of a new chapter. A future where humankind is more than it is today. A future where, just perhaps, we can all still exist together. Child. My child! You lost your child. I haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the Order. Ravaged this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother.
concerned with it. Now I will show you what happens to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. Only for you, hyena. The gods need not be involved. You have infringed upon Ije's place of rest, trespasser. The gods are already involved. And so you will fight. You are in pursuit of the impossible, Haliset. No measure of magic can bring our children back. Do I walk among the dead now? A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? The symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion! She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the Duatla? 